Today is April 6th. Uh, it's a Tuesday, and we are here at the uh, Tasca County uh, Courthouse. It is a work session uh, that we just got done with today. And I'll kind of go through a bunch of the highlights. I won't go through everything, but I'll go through a bunch of the highlights, and we'll talk about it. Uh, today, with the consent agenda, uh, you know, we did... Um, approve the Itasca County sponsoring, uh, you know, the grant and aid uh, parts when it comes to the snowmobile, the ATV and the cross country ski trails. Basically, uh, uh, Itasca County um, is the middleman for the DNR uh, that uh, does this base, base uh, performance based grants and we hand them out to our, our clubs uh, in those three areas. Uh, we did uh, approve application for some gambling requests. Uh, Deer Lake Charlie's uh, is going to have, uh, that got okayed today. Um, we did have one, two, we had a couple of, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of uh, hauling and crushing uh, agreements or contracts that were awarded. Uh, most of them are up in that northeastern corner of Itasca County. Schwartz and Sons uh, got one of the bids, and uh, it looks like, oh, there was a, a second one. I don't see it here in front of me. Um, the other thing, the other contract that got awarded here today is County Road 45 and County Road 60. Uh, that'll have a uh, bituminous uh, project going on up there. That got awarded to Hawkinson Construction. Um, so a uh, heads up for that to happen this year. Uh, there'll be some new tar put down in that area. We did approve a crossing uh, resurfacing installation agreement uh, with BNSF. Um, that is on County Road 16 over in the Kewatin area. So there will be some new, uh, you know, crossing, uh, concrete crossing uh, pillars being put into place there on the, uh, uh, the railroad in the high or in the county road. We did approve the uh, five-year plan, a uh, highway plan, uh, and uh, for unorganized townships too. We've authorized that. We did have two, three tax forfeited land situations that got uh, re repurchased. Um, we did, uh, oh, here's my other materials that got uh, handed out. Uh, one was Schwartz and Sons, and the other one was Kern and Tabby. How's that? Uh, all of them are up in the northeastern uh, area of the county. We did set some time, uh, dates and times for the land department to have a, another material uh, auction. Uh, we need about 8,000 8, cubic yards yet. Uh, so this will happen on Thursday, April 22nd at 8.30 a.m. Um, so we did an authorization uh, by the board chair and, and administrator to do a joint powers agreement between the state of Minnesota and the Tasca County Sheriff's Department for our related to our Minnesota human traffics, trafficking investigation that went on. Um, this is so we can have some uh, of our uh, money that we put into uh, human trafficking investigators uh, get paid back from the state of Minnesota. Um, but uh, uh, we had a situation that went on here earlier uh, this year um, and we, we handled it uh, in a very professional manner. We did uh, allow some out-of-state travel to uh, Deputy O'Brien. Deputy O'Brien's gonna go out and uh, learn about, uh, especially things for our new jail. We're gonna be doing some more th different things, a lot of mental health, uh, being able to evaluate people in a different way than we do today. So he will be going out and getting a, uh, uh, a conference and getting being able to train. He'll be the trainer to be able to train, uh, to train the trainer, how's that? Um, so that'll be very, very, and we need to, we need to. Um, so the other authorization that we did uh, was 
to do a <clears throat> executive order, uh, an agreement basically to do a, an equipment purchase in a software license agreement uh, with, it's called WatchGuard Video. WatchGuard Video is uh, the company that we deal with for uh, our cameras on our patrol cars and our body cameras that uh, we all be, that all of our sheriff department uh, will be wearing in the near future here. On discussion and informational, um, so today we had 16 items, a long list. Um, I'll talk about some of the things that uh, we did a, a cancellation of forfeiture, a couple pieces of land. Uh, one went to MnDOT uh, and the other one uh, went to, uh, excuse me, yeah, one went to MnDOT and one went uh, back to an Indian Trust Land Fund. The other thing that we had on the list, uh, request for hiring authorization through IM Care. Uh, IM Care uh, basically is looking for a uh, managed nursing a nursing care uh, nurse. Um, so that got passed on to. This has already been authorized through their budget. Uh, this was because of a retirement. Um, I got passed on another authorizing uh, hiring request for a, a, and this was from Terry, for a, a family service uh, division. Um, so the situation here was they've had uh, six people that have um, retired or, or quit uh, during 2020, three have been uh, uh, they've hired three to replace the, replace the six. Um, they still had three left to go. One got uh, reallocated uh, to a different department, and uh, they were looking to get ready to uh, uh, fill the last two. The last two uh, of these uh, positions, uh, basically, after COVID goes off, and they're they're expecting the state to. Uh, and the federals to to return towards normal, um, they're going to have to relook at every case that we have in Atasca County that is eligible for SNAP cash or or health care. Um, so this would bring them back close to to what they had before. Both of these of these uh, positions are have already been budgeted um, from last year's budget. There is no new money there, but. Um, they're going to be looking at to see if they need uh, one or two, but uh, right now we have indicated uh, you need, and it's been taking a long time to hire, so right now it's been looking like we have uh, okayed that to happen. <clears throat> Next thing on the list, uh, Mrs. Chandler came, so it's National Public uh, Health Week, uh, so we did a proclamation on that, um, and then we did a uh, situation with uh, the COVID uh, vaccination administration. So with that in mind, uh, Kelly uh, is asking uh, to hire a part-time non, non uh, Atasca County uh, public nurse uh, to help with the vaccinations of, of, that we must uh, put out uh, here in Atasca County. The other thing is we we're looking at a public health nurse, uh, Kelly was asking for. So in health and human services and the public uh, uh, health nurse, um, we've tried to, to hire a public health nurse. Um, we've tried three times now. Um, and Kelly came back and said, you know, maybe we should be re-looking at that and go to more of a public health educator. Uh, this is more of a, a uh, position that would educate our, our people, our kids, our, our adults of uh, good health and how to get good health and what to avoid. Um, we had that communication talk. Uh, then we uh, had a 
uh, Mr. Villeneuve from Health and Human Services come and talk about um, the IRC building and some of the uh, perceived uh, things that need to happen to maintain that building uh, into the future. Uh, one of them is um, the siding. As everybody knows, the siding is uh, multicolored at this point in time. Uh, so he is going out for a proposal to find out what it would cost to do a reciting of that. Of that, uh, the head maintenance man Travis came and and uh, answered all our questions uh, for us at that point in time. Next thing, Mr. Villeneuve came to talk to us about is the ambulance services uh, that we are responsible for in our county. Um, you know, we have Meds One. Meds One is a private owned for profit company. Um, and then we have three others. We have Deer River, Big Fork, and Nashwalk. The Big Fork and Nashwalk are, are a little different than, than the Deer River one. Deer River one is um, uh, tied into the hospital uh, more out there, the Deer River Hospital. Um, the other two are more of a volunteer or a one, one hired person and volunteers. Problem is, we're having a hard time following, you know, getting the volunteers to maintain the Big Fork um, ambulances and the in the Nashwalk ambulances uh, that we need we need to do. And and with that in mind, um, he has asked uh, for consideration of of upping some of the ambulance service to help pay, uh, you know, more of a on-call uh, situation or a uh, daily stipend uh, for these um, ambulances to get the workers that they need to help us uh, with that. Um, so at this point in time, uh, we've we moved it on to consent, but uh, uh, Mr. Villeneuve uh, will take money out of the reserves to help uh, help these two ambulance services that we have in, in our in our county and uh, we'll have to take a relook at it here uh, when it comes budget times on what we're going to do. We had a couple of them that got pulled here today and uh, so let's talk about a capital improvement plan. Uh, Corey Johnson came, he was from uh, Road and Bridge <clears throat> Basically, we have three salt sheds, I'll call it, um, buildings um, that need of repair. Um, uh, the salt building in Balsam and the salt building in Big Fork um, have leaky roofs that needs to be uh, weather sealed better. Um, the one in Togo one in Togo is more of a rubberized roof that's got a tear in it that's leaking. That is to the point where it needs to be um, get re-roofed. Uh, the other, you know, Big Fork and Balsam, they are concrete buildings with a flat roof that uh, can just be can be patched. Uh, the other one is is a uh, you know wood rubber roof uh, style. So they are going to go out. Uh, for for bids there too and get back in touch with us. Um, then I had Guy Carlson. He is <coughs> survey and mapping. Uh, so we need to have a survey uh, technician uh, position uh, filled uh, for the surveying department. Uh, so this is they're used by every department that we have goes to the surveyor to help with maps and figuring out uh, uh, lands and, and getting pictures for things we need. Um, they've agreed to uh, move this on to uh, consent. Uh, we'll find out if anybody internally um, is qualified. If not, they will go outside to look for, for that. This is a budgeted item too, basically uh, came uh, from Dave, Dave, uh, Dave Biley retired, been with the county for 20 plus years. And thank you, Dave, so much. If you're watching, thank you so much for 
uh, for all the years you gave our county. Uh, next thing we had was uh, we had Nick Adams show up. He was with Rapids Rising Update. So Rapids Rising, uh, Rising it's a student group uh, that uh, tries to help um, our children uh, in our in our communities uh, not use alcohol or tobacco. Um, the, you know, five years ago they got a million dollar grant. He came to tell us too that uh, they got another grant for a five year grant. So you know, nice job, Nick. Um, you always have uh, issues. Uh, they did uh, come out with a um, survey that he'll come back in June or July to give us an update on how that worked out uh, where they surveyed a bunch of kids and to see if they're still on target. Um, but congratulations on getting that grant and please keep up the hard work there. The last thing that came up before us was uh, we had a nice talk about you know, COVID uh, relief funds. We are going to get uh, some more uh, relief funds uh, in the near future. Uh, Atasca County uh, I would tell you uh, we're going to get about uh, 8.5 million. Um, we have until 2024 to spend it. Uh, commissioners, uh, their idea was to to sit down, have a talk, open meeting talk. Public's welcome to you know hash out some ideas, uh, forward think um, ideas, and without worrying about a time frame to spend this money. You got a couple of years, uh, so not to be hasty uh, and try to use this money best uh, as possible. You know, some things that are brought up, you know, broadband, I mean, there's some other projects that would help uh, our community, you know, greatly uh, with big business, um, uh, trying to trying to use this, this dollar and I don't think we're going to get any more folks, to be honest, but to try to use this dollar as wise, wisely as possible. Um, I will tell you, with talking to other EDAs uh, around um, in our, our IEDC right here uh, and, and having tomorrow their talk in, in CETA with, with Sarah, uh, you know, talking to both of those ladies uh, to find out what other counties have done and what other cities uh, have done with their COVID relief uh, funds. I tell you that uh, Tasca County was light years ahead of other counties and what they've done and let alone, you know, cities on what, how they spent their money. Uh, so, um, so with that in mind, uh, in, in how, how we spent our money before in the past and how, how much good we did with it, um, we'd like to, uh, you know, reproduce that again and to make sure we do as best as we can with this last bit of money that we're going to get and, and to use it, uh, uh, you know, be it, you know, infrastructure or safety or, or business, but use it wisely. So after that, you know, I guess we uh, had uh, some committee reports, uh, some other comments. Um, so uh, nothing that, that stands out. Um, I hope everybody's Easter was good. Uh, and uh, remember Mother's Day is coming up. And uh, I hope everybody has a good week. Thank you. <laughs>